Hi, welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then we are into the next part of this sourcing actually. So we have completed the single stage RFQ and then now we are going to begin the two stage RFQ. Two stage means what? There will be a technical stage as well as there will be a commercial stage. So it will be in two stages actually. So let us now go on the, begin the two stage. I'm going to go there, share the screen. So go there. So here, what I do is I will now go there. I will now first of all create my style actually. Uh, so let us now go on the creator style. If we take on it. I will now create a two stage style actually. Go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> it is called a next style. So we will now create one next style for the two stage. And go click on it. God, so no. <laughs> Instance is down now. Oh God, it's down. Okay. So click on it. Go to the setup and maintenance. Go there. Now I'll now click on it. And that will now go there. And then go to the search. And click on it. Now go to the search. <clears throat> so go to the search. And then I will now go to the manage next style actually. Manage percentage. Next percentage style. So manage negotiation style in which I'm now going to create a two-stage RFQ. So click on plus. I will now say it's a two, T01. Right? I will now say two-stage. Two-stage style. It's a two-stage style. So uh, uh, I will now say what I say. Two-stage. Fine. <laughs> because one and two is no. So I'm now making it the two-stage style. Take it, put it in the description, and then put the code also. And then here, RFQ is what I will now call it as what two stage in RFQ. It's a two stage RFQ. I'm not going to use only this document. Click on it. Go down. It is a single document actually. Make it as a single document and go there. And then enable the two stage. Now, the two stage RFQ is enabled actually. That is the only difference between a single stage and two stage. So we are now enabling it now. And then I keep everything fine. Abstract also enable it now. Click on it. And then I keep everything enabled actually. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom, what happens is a response based spreadsheet. If you do it, what happens is it will automatically become lines in separate sheet. So remove it, remove the response based spreadsheet. If you do it, then what happens is it will be kept as only a single document. I know that. That's it, fine. <coughs> remove this one. <coughs> Overall rank also you can enable. <coughs> not enough. I know that. So everything is not enough. Actually. So the two stage RFP is now enabled actually. So go there. So my style is now created for the two stage actually. Okay, the two stage RFQ, fine. Go there. go there. So click on save and close. It is not done. Now we will now go and then create a template for this. So I click on you. You're not going to create a template. So click on the home icon after having created the two stage RFQ style actually. I click on the home icon. You go to the procurement and then go to the negotiation. And go to the procurement. And then I go to the negotiation. Fine, go to the negotiation. Good. So in the negotiation, what happens? You go there, click on it. I will now create a manage negotiation template. So style is now created. Now we are going to create a template. Click on the create template. So click on plus. Getting over plus. So go there. Here, what happens? I'm going to create a template. I go there. The negotiation type is what? I will now say two stage RFQ. So this is the one. Right? Two stage RFQ is the one. Fine, go there, on. And then the style is coming automatically. Fine, it's a two stage evaluation. And then the outcome will be a PO. Make it to the purchase order. The two stage evaluation, fine. Technical stage first, and then afterwards the financial stage. Fine. Click on create. So we are now creating the uh, template for this. And then the first thing is what you have to give a name for it. So the template name has to be given as soon as we create it, actually. <laughs> so we are now creating it now. <laughs> so go there. So in the cover page, if you want to write, you can write something. Fine. So whatever you want to according to it. Now fine. click on the overview page. Go to the overview page. So go to the overview page, fine, go there. Here, what happens, you know, see the name has to be, you know, I'll say T01, uh, two-stage template. The two-stage template, now fine, go there. So take a copy of it, and then put in the description, paste it, and go there, content. And then you can even make it as a global if for multiple views won't access it. Fine, go there. It's a two-stage evaluation, actually. Uh, uh, prepare or so and so on. Generally, can give it, now fine, go on it. And then uh, you can say preview immediately, <laughs> and then open immediately, and then, the response visibility is sealed actually. In a single stage, it was blind actually. Here, you don't have an option of blind at all. 
<laughs> it will come as only seed that you. It will come only as a seed. It will be coming only as a seal. Okay? There is no blind option top. And do not change any template layouts. If technical is now giving you a different layout, then you can do it. Otherwise, I'll leave it as a choice. Enable team scoring. I'm not going to have any uh, what happens the teams to score at all. Scoring you already seen on the single stage. So we are not, I'm now awarding it. The enable weights is okay. Fine, go there. So display scoring criteria to the surface. Fine, go there. Count. I'm going to display it. And then go there. Count. These are all I'm going to So default maximum score is fine. It's okay. Fine, go there. Response. So restrict the invented suppliers, allow suppliers to see other suppliers, what happens, uh, contract terms, notes and attachments, allow suppliers to what happens, select lines on which they want. If there are multiple lines, we can even allow them to respond. And then go down the bottom. Allow multiple responses, we can even, what happens, how we can even have one more round also. Allow response revision, allow response revision. And then what happens, display overall rank to suppliers. So we'll not display the overall rank to the suppliers. So here, what happens when you when you put the second one, allow suppliers to see other suppliers, the terms and conditions, it will not enable it also. <laughs> display the suppliers, right? You're not enabling everything on this area, on the what's called main overview, on the general area. <laughs> then what happens? You go to the terms, no fine, click on the terms. And then if there is any uh, change in the terms, fine, come to it, no fine. So these things we are not keeping it as well, fine, not modifying anything at all. Go to the collaboration team. We're not going to have any collaboration team at all. So scoring, I'm not going to do it. Abstract also, I'm not doing it. So at this stage, what happens? You keep on saving. Now, click on save. <clears throat> so now the overview is now completed. Now what happens? You go to the requirements. So here, requirement is a cream of a contract actually, or a template actually, template or negotiation. But here, uh, we are not concentrating on the requirements actually, and so there is no requirement at all. So since we have already completed all the requirements in the single stage itself, so we are not concentrating anything on the requirements now. I don't go to the lines. <clears throat> so templates will not normally have any lines at all. So lines will not be there. Can go there. So lines, we are not going to add anything. We'll be adding only on the negotiation actually. Contract terms also, I'm not adding it. So here, what happens, uh, this will be done during procurement contracts, actually. So go to the supplier, no? if I click on suppliers, and then let me add two suppliers, no? if I click on it. So click on plus, no? I have no query for the supplier. So I already created two suppliers, no? if I click on it. So select an add. <clears throat> so click on the certain, I no? delete it, no? I delete it. Delete the line, and then click on select an add. <clears throat> let me select two suppliers. So I got two suppliers here, no? if I click on it. So I now say, is a T01. <clears throat> And then make a search and find, click on search in beginning to suppress. I created two suppliers. Okay? So from the left hand side, you click on it and then with the control, what happens is select the other one also. And then go there, select add to selection and click on it. And then that will be coming on the right hand side now. So once when you add, you can come and click on the continue. So they will all be added to the template action. They will be ordered with the appropriate site name and then the contact suppliers. So go there. So now the template is ready and then we can now activate it out. Click on activate. So we are now activating the template now. Click on it. So the template is activated. Now, we'll now go there and then create a negotiation for this. So click on, so click on now. Done. And then here, what happens? I go there. I will now click on the home icon and then I go to the procurement and then I go to the negotiation straight away. <clears throat> I go to the negotiation. And then we will now create a negotiation. So the style is created. The template is ready. Now we are now ready to create a negotiation, a two stage RFQ. So click on the create negotiation. So click on the create negotiation. And then here, what happens? I go there. And then here, we are going to do it. I drop it down. And then here, what was I going to add it? No, when two stage RFQ, <coughs> two stage RFQ is the one. Go there. So go there. So the negotiation template will be coming in the bottom. Go there. I'll choose it. <coughs> the output is coming. Click on create. Now we are creating a negotiation strategy. Click on it. <coughs> so go there. Everything is coming, defaulting it. Fine. Go to the overview. And then there is no change at all. Fine. Click on it. You're not changing anything at all. Requirements also, you're not I mean, adding anything at all. Fine. Here, the title is required. Fine. So I will say two, I will say two stage fine. RFQ. That is a template. Now this is an RFQ actually. So take over it and then uh, put on the synopsis. So we are not changing anything on the teams, collaboration, project abstract, and nothing is changing now. Fine, go to the lines. So we are not going to add the lines actually. So you must provide the date. Fine. So close date is a must actually. Fine. In the cover page, what happens? They go there. So we have to say when it is going to close. Now, click on it. I will now say 30th it is going to close. Now, click on it. So we are not closing it on 30th actually. 30th we are closing it. Fine. So go there. So enable team score is not right. Enable it. Whatever has been done, yeah. After that, I am volume is active. Ah? Hello, I am unable to understand. <clears throat> Can you speak in English? Okay. <clears throat> so go there. So go there. So now open immediately. I go there. Come on. And then award date also we can give it now if required. Otherwise, what happens? You can leave it as such now. So everything is coming. So the remaining all as per the template. What happens? Everything has been enabled. Oh, you know. Come on. Come on. And what happens? You go to the requirements. We don't have any requirements at all. 
no record is wrong no now the lines we are going to add the lines so click on plus no and then add the lines so click on plus and then we will now add the lines actually <clears throat> so i will not put an item now so here item is what i will not put the existing as 6500 the inkjet printer actually i will choose the standard inkjet printer and then quantity is going to be 10 now and then what I mean, the location is okay fine the current price is under actually and then the start price is also under. So we are now giving both things the same. Now I click on it. And then go there and then click on it. And then I'm now going to give the text specs. If I click on plus. So we are going to give a text specs. If I click on edit. Edit and then we will now add a text specs. <clears throat> so now here in the bottom, what happens is that we can even add the transportation and then the, your uh, storage cost. But I'm not doing enough. And you must enter a requested delivery. If I click on it. So the de de delivery, requested delivery is required. If I click on it. It will now say that what happens is it has been delivered on second action. Second, second yeah, delivery, and then select it and then click on it. So delivery date is a must. Now I click on it. We are editing it. So here, what happens? I am not adding any cost factors. Actually, fine. Cost factors have been tested actually, and then uh, once when you are making comparison, the cost will be added to the actual price. No, fine. Price is hundred plus uh, cost is going to be twenty. No, it will be one twenty actually. Fine. So I am not doing it. That is already done. So in the bottom, what happens? I am not going to add the attributes. No, fine. Go to actions and then what happens? You go to what happens? Add predefined group. No? So click on the add, add the predefined group. Fine, on. Will not add a predefined group. Fine, click on it. Not add a grid. So go there. So go there. Drop it down. I will not add one thing. Fine, go there. I will not say warranty. I will not say warranty. The predefined group. Fine, go there. And then add a predefined what happens? A list. No, fine. Add from a list. No, fine. So click on. So this is the warranty is the one. I'm not adding it. Fine, click on add from a list. No, fine. Click on add from a list. I will not go and then query for it. No, fine. W G. Then search for it now. Don't see whether anything is there. No, fine. Click on it. So it's not coming up fine. Uh, I will now say, I will not add attribute. No, fine, click on add attribute. So if it is coming from a list, it's okay. Fine. So we already added a group. Fine. So we'll not add attribute. No, fine, click on add attribute. So we're going to add what? Fine. Warranty. Warranty. Fine. Click on no. So go there. So click on it. And then uh, the attribute name is warranty. Fine, go there. So the target is going to be what? Three years. No? And then display the target. Fine, go there. So you're not going to give what? Uh, the value for it. Click on it. So the warranty is now going to give a value. Now click on the properties is okay. Fine. Uh, required. It is a required one. Fine. He has to give it. Now click on text. The target is three, and then display target. So it's a simple warranty. Fine. So click on save and close. Fine. Come out of it, and then go down. So here, what was the warranty is required. The target is three. Now. <clears throat> Fine. The target is three. So he has to give what happens. A warranty. Now click on it. I'll again edit. Now I thought that what happens. It will become easy. Now click on it. So the response is required, values, right? Well, three, three years of warranty. You can even gain any values from Within that, you know, going to give value. <clears throat> so click on it. So display target. Fine. Your value type is text actually. Fine. Brother. I will not say date, number. I will not make it as a number. No, fine. Click on number. So number means what target is what three. So you're not going to give a number actually. Fine. I'll not make it as a number. So go there. So uh, three years warranty actually. Fine. Click on save and close. So it is not made as a number actually. So this is a technical specs actually. Is a technical specs. And then go there. Fine. You're not going to start at what hundred dollars, and then this is a technical specs. Actually. The number target is number. So we are now given. So this is a technical specs, and then the commercial specs is what the price actually. So the bid will be having two parts: one is the technical part, and then one is the commercial part. I click on save and close. It's not done. So it's not done. And then when you go to the supplier, so the technical the line is now added. The technical specs is added. The price also we have added. And then go to the suppliers. So the suppliers will be there. No, I click on suppliers. And then 318220 is the one fine. The supplier is already there. And I will not go on and publish it directly. So I have already bypassed the approvals actually. I will not tell you where exactly I have done it. I click on publish and find. The approvals are bypassed for the negotiation actually. So 318820 is published now. 318200 is published. If you go there, I will not query for it. Now I click on it. I will not go on and query for it. I will not go to the negotiations. And then manage negotiations. And then I will not query 31820. <clears throat> so 31820. <clears throat> I will not go to it. I click on it. I will not go to the procurement and then go to the negotiations and go to the account. I will not go on and query for it. If I go to the manager negotiation, 31820 is the one. The negotiation number is what? 31820. And then I make a search. Now, if I click on search, it will be coming. It is not what happens active and then locked actually. It is a two stage one. It is after. So, right click and then what happens? The duplicate. And then I will not show you where exactly I bypassed the approval for the negotiation. If I click on it. So, both the negotiation and award approvals have been bypassed by me. Go there. So I'll now go to the configure requisitioning. Go to the procurement business function. Fine. Click on it. So click on it. 
and then you know what they go there i will go to what set up and maintenance and then i will click on it click on search mode right i will say configure right this is a procurement business manager So go to the configure procurement business function fine click on it now hello i'm in a class actually can i shall i call you after four o'clock I, i will call you at, after four o'clock but fine yeah. us one business unit fine what i want to click on okay so here, what I did is in the bottom, what happens is enable negotiation approval and then enable award approval. Both of them have been removed now. So that means what? There is no approvals. So if the company wants the negotiation to be approved by somebody, then you have to enable it and then set up the approvals. Similarly, the award, which is going to follow up after we complete the negotiations, what happens is there is also bypassed. You have done it on the configure procurement business function. Now, what happens is both the suppliers will be getting it. So 31820 is the one. So both the suppliers will be getting a notification on this. Before which, what happens will now open up what you click on it. will now open up the worksheet actually. It will now open up the worksheet now. So go there. So here, what happens will now say efficient procurement worksheet is the one. I click on it. Can open it up. Go down. <clears throat> so go there. Procurement is there. And so Sales service procurement. And then sourcing is the one. Find that. So here, single stage RFQ have completed actually fully. And then now what happens, we are now into the two-stage. So create a two-stage uh, template also. We are done it now. So create a two-stage with the line attributes. And upon approval, it will now become locked. Actually. It is now active and locked. So 160th step, what happens, it is now saying it is active and locked. So let us know what happens. You are able to see this now. Click on it. it is now active and locked. Actually. So we will now log in as the first supplier, actually. We have already created the usernames also. Fine. So we will now go there. So let me log in as a first supplier on an Edge browser, actually. I am in a Chrome now. So let me go to the Edge browser and then let me log in as a first supplier. Now, paste it on my entry. You're going to log in as a first supplier. <clears throat> so the first supplier username and password has already been done like, exactly like what we have done for the single stage RFQ. You know, we are using the same uh, philosophy actually. It is A1.N1. Right? That is the first supplier's login actually. <clears throat> the first supplier's login is done. space by you know logging in as a first supplier actually so we go there and then log in i will not say that uh this thing is what a1.n1 <clears throat> wait for the best taking a longer time to come now it is v1 dot vn1 and that when the password is okay fine click on sign in so we are signing in as a a1 not in one with the first supplier actually The first supplier is not going to respond back with the value actually. So he will not give what his price as well as his uh, commercials also. No going to get it. So you will not click on the home icon now. First supplier is home icon. Remember, you might need a supply portal license actually. Otherwise, what happens? It will not be able to supply portal license is required. Then only what happens? You will be able to see this now. Otherwise, it's not possible. Supply portal license. Sometimes what happens? Uh, the Customer success manager from Oracle will now give you as a package, actually. If you're buying so many licenses, what happens along with the procurement, the supply portal license also will be given as a package. Depending on, so you're you not buying the inventory, procurement, order management, and then in the payables also, you're buying something. So he will not attach this. <laughs> this license will be free, actually. <clears throat> it either as a case to case basis, depending upon how many modules you're buying, you know. <laughs> Click on the supply portal, <clears throat> you're going to own that and I have all that. So go there. So go down now. Find there. In the bottom, what happens? You can see view active negotiation. So if this first supplier is not going to have a look at it, fine. Click on it. You will now see 31810 will be visible for you now. You click on the view active negotiations. You can now very well see the 31810 is not fine. Thank you. So go there. Click on it. And then he's not going to create a response. Now, fine. You can even acknowledge the participation. You will now say, you know, acknowledging it first. Fine. Click on acknowledge the participation. So go there. You're not going to say, yeah, we, we will participate. We will not participate. And click on OK. Now, fine. He's not participating yet. So yes, there's no given by Google. So this will be recorded in our system, right? If you go there and then see in our system, right? click on it. And then click on the hyperlink of it. And click on the hyperlink of it. And then you can even see the supplier's activity action. You go to the actions and then go to the what's called monitor. And then what happens is the track negotiation activities. Fine, click on it. Track negotiation activities. Now you can see the negotiation activities coming up. <laughs> so 
It has not gone, not right on it. I will again click on the home icon, not right on the home icon. Uh, okay, I'll go to the negotiation. And we'll go back. It's coming properly on it, I promise. <laughs> mm -hmm. So go there. And then here, you go to the what's called this is the one, not right? negotiation. And then you go to actions and then or the monitor and then here or the track negotiation activities. It comes in a separate page, actually. It comes in a separate page. You can now see the negotiation activities coming up on this one. Two stage negotiation. So negotiation probably negotiation is needed. So go to this place. So now what happens? You can now see the activities actually. Uh, negotiation life cycle, life cycle activities, activity list. Fine. The right hand side, what happens? They click on the activity list. You can now you will see the activity list actually. So negotiation, negotiation and drag created, negotiation, negotiation published actually. The one now. And then we want to see the supplier activities. So click on that timeline. Timeline time is okay. You can, go there. you can even download it actually. It's only basically download, no download. All the activities can be downloaded actually. Uh, it is active and locked, and, and then it is not showing anything in the So the first supplier is not fine. Go to the actions and then go to monitor. No fine. Monitor supplier activities. It is the negotiation activities. You can even monitor the supplier activities. And the supplier activities, you can very well see uh, what has been done. That is only for the negotiation actually. Now you can see the first supplier has now accepted the negotiation mediation. And so what's the first step is so even in one but he has accepted it because he has not given acknowledgement actually when accept the negotiation now what happens you'll not go there and then we will not give a quote from him right now so it and then you're not going to get a response when click on get response so you're not going to create a response no click on create response so the first supplier is not going to create a response actually so go there so he is not saying response valid till what you know go there so you'll not give a date now so click on you know giving a date please so the response value is no given. So you will not go to the lines area. So there is no requirements at all. Or will be coming fine. If there is no, really what happens? Requirements is a must actually. But uh, we are not concerned. We are not concentrating on the two stage. And so what happens? We are not bypass the negotiation on this point. So click on it. So the response price is what is now giving ninety as the ninety price. So click on it. And then go there. So click on edit now. Fine. Click on edit. And then here the promise delivery date. Fine. Click on it. We will now give the date also. When he is going to deliver? So when he is going to deliver? Fine. Click on it. No go there. So you know, say what happens the second one. The so the response validity and then delivery data same actually. Fine. Select it and then here click on edit now. Click on edit. And then you know going to give what the warranty period actually. Fine. Warranty period. So go there. So you know giving what is now three is an expected is the required one. Fine. And then say uh, one year warranty. You know, giving one year is a new one. Response value. So the technical specs has been given by the supplier, and then the price is also given by the supplier actually. He has given one year warranty and then the price also given. Fine, click on save and close. Fine, no <clears throat> So 90 is the price and then one year warranty has given. Fine. He is not going to submit the record. Fine, he is not going to submit it. So click on submit by which what happens? You will be submitting the response actually. The first supplier is not submitting the response. So click on submit now. Fine, brother. So the negotiation was submitted. We will now notify you by email actually. We will now come back to our system now. Fine, click on it. And then what happens? You click on done. And then here, what happens? You go there. And then go to actions and then go to monitor and then say monitor activities. <laughs> So if you monitor the activities, you can now see that he has now submitted a response also. The response has been submitted. Submitted response. He has now submitted a response. My brother is active. So he has now submitted a response actually. <laughs> now supplier one has now submitted a response actually. So similarly, what I mean, the supplier two also will be submitting a response. Effect. So we'll now go there and then log into the second supplier actually in another browser. I will now go to the what's called the Mozilla browser and then let us now log in as a second supplier actually. So the first supplier is given one year warranty at 90. So now go that component. Now open up the Mozilla browser. Now open up the Mozilla browser. I will not paste it. The Mozilla browser we are going up. I will say A2.n2. Then I will not log in. So the second supplier is now logging in. So second supplier is logging in. And then you'll also go on and see the active negotiations which have been coming and off and click on it. So 31820 is the active negotiation and click on it. So click on the home icon and then we'll now go to the supply portal of the jump icon. Go to the supply portal. So go there. What happens? Go there. And then under the negotiations, what happens? You'll now see the view active negotiations and click on it. Active negotiation. So go there. So he is now able to see it. Fine. Acknowledging is not a mandatory one, fine. But whenever the negotiator is now amending the negotiation, then acknowledgement is a must actually. So go there. Click on create response. Fine. Click on create response. He's now going to create a response now. Click on it. And then he is also giving the same data. Fine. Click on it. So it is now valid. Fine. Click on it. Click on it. Click on it. And then he will now go to the lines and then he will now give the technical specs as well as the commercial specs. Fine. Click on it. Line. He is now giving a price of 80 now. 80 is the price. Fine. Go there. 
So you'll not say the date. Now, can click on it. And then uh, go there, drop it down. And then I'll not say the date is coming automatically. I'll find the summer number. And then select it. And then here, whatever they click on it. Now. So he's now giving a two year warranty. I'll give a two year warranty. So warranty is two years. No, find the warranty. So he expected three. And then first supplier is given one. And then second supplier is now given two. So the technical specs is given. And the price is also given as the ADM. Both of them have been given. And then he is now going to what? Uh, click on submit. Now. He is now going to submit that. Click on submit. So he is now submitting it actually. So he is now submitting the code. Now we will now go there and then have a look at it. So second also would have submitted. If I click on done now. And then come back again. If I go to the actions and go to monitor and then monitor supplier activities, you can now see both the response have been submitted. Actually. So submitted response. And it is locked. Fine. So it is locked. And so what happens? Even the negotiator cannot see the technical specs as well as the commercial specs. Both the things cannot be done. It's active actually. Active and locked. And go there. And then you go there, click on done now, fine. So click on that. And then here, whatever they go there, go to the actions. And then here, whatever they go there, go to analyze now. If I click on analyze, view response history. So you will not click on the analyze and then view response history. You can now see the responses actually. If I click on the view response history, you can now see both the responses actually. And then here, whatever you know, see the response is coming in a sealed one now, fine. So the response number itself is not visible at all. Fine. Response number is also so stuff like that. So you will not see overall thing, it is in a sealed cover actually. It is in a sealed cover, fine. Everything is in response amount is sealed, and then response validity, everything is sealed actually. It is active. Actually. Response amount is also sealed. And then what happens? Whatever is there, fine. Everything is sealed. Actually. Response is also sealed. Actually. Now we'll now go there, fine. Click on it. Now, go to what our Excel sheet. So submit a response from both the suppliers. Now fine. View response history as sealed actually. If you see the view response history, it will be coming as a sealed. Now close the negotiation. Fine. We'll now go there. So now what else? Everything has got now fine. We already got everything. So we'll now go there. We'll now close the negotiation. So click on the now. Uh, we'll now go to actions and then here order one. We'll go there. Go to the main area. Fine. Click on the now. Come to the main one. In this way, order one. Again, go there. Click on it. Fine. From here, on the, from here only we are doing. It. Fine. Again, click on this now. You go to actions and then you go to manage and then close the negotiation. So you're not going to close it now. So close immediately. Now, fine. It's closed. So every supplier, every participating supplier will be what happens is will be informed that what happens it has been closed. Fine. Click on the right. All the participating suppliers will be informed. So the close date for the negotiation has been approved. Fine. Click on it. So previously, what happens? It was active and locked. Fine. Now it is closed and locked. Previously, it was active and locked. It is now closed and locked. Fine. Click on the now. And then how will it? Click on search. No fine. You can now see it's closed and locked. Active and locked has been become as a closed and locked. Fine. It is now closed and locked. So if you go to actions and then what happens? You go to analyze and then view the response history. Fine. It is now closed. You know, we need to find So now what happens is again showing you that everything is sealed actually. And everything else. Only thing is it is now closed and locked. You now go that thing. It is now closed and locked. Fine. Close it. So now I am going to unlock the technical state actually. I am going to unlock the technical state. So I will now unlock the technical state. We are going to unlock the technical state. Go to actions and then here what happens? You go there. And then here, what happens? You go to manage, and then here, unlock the stage technical. So once when the technical stage is unlocked, what happens? The negotiator can see the technical response as a warranty of one and two years. But whereas the individual suppliers cannot see each other's uh, technical specs. Actually. Go to unlock stage. If you unlock it, if you unlock the technical stage for the negotiation, buyers will be able to view the technical stage responses, but not the suppliers. Actually. Suppliers cannot view it. No, fine. So click on yes, no, fine. Suppliers cannot view it. Only buyers can view it. So the technical stage of this is unlocked. And then what is the unlocked one? You go to the actions and then you go to analyze and view the view response history. So if you click on the view response history, now you can now see the technical specs of both the suppliers actually. Now what happened? The response number is coming here. Fine, you can see the previous response number is coming. If you click on the first supplier, fine, click on it. Now you can see the technical response only. <clears throat> if you click on it, what happens? You can now very well see the technical response only. So go that on it. And then you cannot see this fine. All these things, when it is going to be there, fine. If you go to the lines area, fine, click on the lines area. In the lines area, we cannot see the technical response as what? 10 quantity is there, fine, click on it. And then go there. So click on the details account, fine, click on the details account. You cannot see the, what happens, the warranty information. If you click on the details, what happens, you cannot see the warranty has been given as one year. So you can see. Similarly, you can see the second supplier also. Similarly, you cannot see the second supplier also. So both the technical, but no price is visible actually. In a two-stage RFQ, only the technical will be visible for the what happens, the negotiator actually. But now what happens, you go there. I will now go to the one now, if I click on it. I am now in the first supplier's login. Not click on it. And then here, what happens, you go there. In the negotiation, what happens, I will now go to the manager responses. Not active. Fine. Go to the manager responses. If I click on the manager responses. If you click on the manager responses, what happens, you can now see. Fine. Click, make a search now. Fine. You can now see his own response actually. So go there. And so 31810. 31820. 31820. 
Now click on search. Now I click on search. Uh, you manage the responses. I don't know. Say make it as null. So click on search. Now I click on search. It's now visible. So is the response is visible. Now I know that. So you will now click on the response. Now I click on the response, and then you will now see the view response is straight. You know, go there. So go to the lines. Now I click on the lines. And then here, what happens, you'll now go there. So he has now given the price of 90, but the supplier can very well see now. Fine. If you click on the details, he can very well see now. He can see his own quote again. His own quote, fine. He is given a warranty of one year as well as 90. So he is a supplier, fine. He can very well see. Now. And then if you click on the actions and then go to view response history, he can now see how many suppliers have responded. Click on the view response history. Now you can see how many people have responded. Actually. View response history. Actions view response history will not tell you how many people have responded. So go there. Subcon has responded. Now, fine. Click on it. And then uh, it's no close. Fine, click on done now. <clears throat> uh, it is not showing you. Fine, click on done now. Fine. Click on done. Uh, click on done. <clears throat> and then go there. Oh, God. You cannot see that. Fine, what is the pending award? No, fine, there's no pending award. Fine, click on it. And then go there. Click on it. And then here, if you go to action, then go to be response history. So, response history is not showing even the second supplier's response. Second supplier's response is also not showing. Only his own response is no visible. So even the second supplier's response is also not visible. So go there, unlock the digital. So analyze the negotiation and view response is not going to be done. Look at the technical requirements. Everything is wrong. Price will not be visible at all on the lines. So now I'm going to unseal the technical. So once when I unseal it, both the buyers and suppliers, both of them can see each other's spec sector. Right? You can very well see each other's spec sector. Unseal the technical. Now go there. Now go to this place. Come on. And then go there. So click on done. <clears throat> Fine. We are now seeing this. Now, fine, click on it. So, the response history has been done. Fine, click on it. We'll now unseal it. Now, fine, go to the place. And then go to actions. And then you go to manage. And then I'm going to unseal the stage. So, once when you unseal the technical, then both the buyers and suppliers can see each other's specs actually. Unseal the technical. If you unseal the technical stage, buyers and suppliers will be able to view responses for technical stage. Fine. Both the suppliers also can be seen. Fine, click on it. Click on this. We are unsealing it actually. So, go there. Now, both of them can see now. Now, already we have seen that he is able to see. Now, if I can go to the place and then go to analyze, then go to the order of the view responses tree. Now, we are already able to see the technical specs of each other. So, the buyer is now able to see. I'll now go on and look at the second one. Now, if I click on it, second one. Even on the unlock stage itself, whatever he is able to see. Now, if I can go to the lines and then he is able to see the technical specs. Now, if I click on it. But price is not visible. So, technical specs, even an unlock stage is visible. Now, if I unsealing also is visible. Now, we'll now go on and have a look at what at the supplier side. We'll now go to the place. Now, supplier can see each other's specs. Now, click on actions and then here, view response history. View response history. So, go back to more. Now, what I was saying, this is his quote. Now, fine. The other quote is now visible, but he will not know which supplier is quoted. The system will not show the supplier's name, but it will not show you the response. Now, fine. Click on the response. So, click on the response. Now. So, it's on 136. If you click on it, what happens? You can now see. What is the quote he has given? Okay. If you click on the details, you cannot see the other supplier has now given a two year warranty. Two year warranty. Now, unsealing is really very dangerous. Actually. So, once when you unseal it, what happens is that the supplier, even though he may not know which supplier has quoted, but he knows the comparison. Fine. Whatever he has done, and then whatever the other one can. So, what happens? He will now bribe the negotiator, and then I will ask him to go for one more round. Actually. So when you own for one more round, whatever has been quoted will now become invalid and then everybody has to give a quote again. So this happens in industry. And so it basically kills the competition actually. So Reliance has very clearly told that what happens is uh, you please remove that one. Here what happens you are now having this unseal. No, fine. So in the actions, what happens if you go there, go to the, uh, and this one, fine, click on that, no, fine, click on that. And then uh, go there, click on that. This one, fine. If you open it up, no, fine, click on done now. <clears throat> And then go there. Even the actions, what happens if you go to the manage? So there was a uh, unseal was there now, right? Because it's already unseal, not coming now. So they asked them to customize this unseal uh, stage technical. Right? So that has been removed by the Oracle team, no? implementing team can very well remove the unseal stage. Because once when you unseal it, the technical specs of other suppliers, even though the name is not visible, but the quotation is visible actually. So these guys used to bribe and then what happens there? Because it will be in a huge million dollars. No? Fine. Whenever the negotiations are made, they are all in very huge money. And so what happens there? They used to bribe and then do it. No? Fine. So the, the unsealing of the technical and then unsealing of commercial has been bypassed actually. Fine. So that is the way they do it. No? Fine. We can very well bypass the unsealing of the commercial and unsealing of the te uh, technical and commercial stages actually. It is not done. 
So now what happens? He is able to see it, but only thing is what? He may not know which supplier has quoted, but the technical specs will be visible for the first supplier also. Similarly, for the second supplier, you will now see that 71135 is visible, but he may not know the supplier name on the, his supply side, actually, the contact address. So this thing will not be visible. But the important part is what? The specs now. Right? That is now visible, actually. So not enough. Anymore. So go there. Now, what I was, you know, he's not going to what? Well, no, go there. Take on it. You know, take the next action, right? The unseal is not. So by buyers and suppliers can view it now. Right? Now complete the take stage technical. You know, going to complete the stage technical. You know, go there. Take on it. You know, click on done. Fine. Go to actions and then go to manage. You know, fine. You know, complete the stage technical. Fine. Click on the complete stage technical. So if you complete the technical stage responses, the excluded from the shortlist it won't be available for advantage. If somebody is not sure, uh, whatever is excluded. And if you're doing it, and then they will not be available for the commercial stage because technical specs are not okay. And so, you know, you excluded them. And then what happens? They will not be available in the commercial stage at all. We want to continue finance. Yes. We are not done anything exclusion at all. No. So, you know, so technical stage has been completed. Right? No, technical stage is completed. So, click on done. Right? It is now unsealed. Right? Now, evaluation completed. Technical stage is now unsealed. Evaluation stage is not done. Now, what happens? You go there. And then uh, it is now done. Now, right? so now what is the next activity? You know, go there. So, now. Now what happens? Unlock the commercial stage. So once you need to unlock, you go to actions and then you go to manage. You know, that. So you'll know what happens. Unlock the stage commercial. So you're not unlocking it. Okay? The negotiator is unlocking it. So if you unlock the commercial stage, buyers will be able to view the responses for technical and commercial stage both. Click on it. And you can now see the prices also. Click on it. So the commercial response is unlocked. No, click on it. And then go to actions. And then here, go to what? Uh, go to monitor. And then what happens? Uh, you'll now say not award. If you go to the award and then view the responses stream. Now, previously, what happened? It is now monitor. Now, fine. Now, the monitor or something was there. I have forgotten. Now. So, it is now gone as an award, actually. So, go to the view response history. If you click on the view response history, you can now see both the technical and the commercial history. If you go to one third way, fine, click on it. You can now see both the prices as well as the technical specs. You can see what happened. You go to the goal lines, now, fine, click on the lines. You can now see what he has quoted. Now, fine. So, he has now quoted what $90. Fine. If you click on the details, you can now see that what happened the technical. So, buyer can see both, actually. But if you go to this place, now click on if you go to the what's called your suppliers login. So click on that. <clears throat> so here, what happens? You go there and then you go and then click on the hyperlink of one. Or I don't know, I click on it. And then you go to actions and then go to view responses tree. If you view the responses tree, what happens? You can now see the other suppliers quote. Now click on it. And then if you click on it, what happens? The commercial will not be visible at all. Fine, click on it because it is not unsealed actually. Fine, it is very unlocked. If you click on it, you can only see the technical specs of it. You can go there. So if you click on the details, what happens? You can now see the technical specs of the supplier. Of supplier. So two quantities, two two years warranty. But the prices will not do. That. So only when you unseal it, what happens? The prices of the competing suppliers will be visible for you. Okay. No go there. Like, no go there. Like, no like. So it's not done. Now what happens? Un un unlock commercial stage. Now buyers can only see this. Unseal the commercial stage. You are going to unseal the commercial stage. Right? No. no go there. So click on it. No, no unseal it. Click on it. No, click on it. Unseal it. Actually. Mm -hmm. So go to actions and then here what happens we are going to unseal it actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is not coming again. Give it done and then come to the main page. And then go there. So in the main page, what happens? You go to what I click on uh, open it up. Uh suppliers now I click on them. <clears throat> go there. So in this place, actions and then go to manage. And then this place, what happens? You go there and then unseal the text stage. So once when you unseal it, what happens? If you unseal the commercial stage, buyers and suppliers will be able to see other each other's responses. No? Only thing is the other supplier may not be knowing. What happened? The exact one the who's which supplier has given the commercial code? Like, you know, it's again a very, very uh, undesirable one for many, many companies actually because it kills the competition. And then what happens? The people will not bright, the negotiator will not become rich actually. Basically, <laughs> it happened many times. And so, what happens? They removed that unsealing activity. Unsealing can be very well bypassed actually. Can click on the now. <clears throat> go there. So, go there, click on it. And then you go to view actions and go to view response history now. What happens? You can now see the other suppliers' responses. Right? Other suppliers, 75136. Though both the what happens? The price, the response amount is also visible. You can see the response amount is also visible. And then the technical also will be visible. And this is a highly undesirable. So unsealing of technical and commercial in many companies, they have bypassed by page customization. We can very well do a page customization and then bypass it actually. So it is not on the no. So it's not have done. Unseal is not on the so go there. So you will now go then award it actually. <clears throat> Hi. Yeah, I'm in a, yeah, I'm in a class actually. So uh, in about 30 minutes time, I will now call you. Okay, buddy? I will call you in 30 minutes. Okay, please. Okay.
So now what happens, I'm not going to award the negotiation actually, fine, don't go there. So unseal of the commercial stage is not on. So it is already closed and then we are un unlocking and then unsealing of both technical and commercial. Now we are not going to award it. Okay. So we are not seeing everything. Fine, not. Now go there, click on that. Now. And then go there. So you will now click on the hyperlink on the negotiation. Fine. It is now closed, locked and click on it. You will now award it. Fine, not. You are not going to award it. So go to actions and then here whatever the board award. And then here award the negotiation actually. So go to, go to the award negotiation. So click on the award negotiation. We are not going to award it. We are not going to award it. We'll be awarding. The evaluation progress I will not say the second supply is the cheapest one. I will not the one now. I will not choose it. And then you go to award it. And then click on award. Select it. And then click on award. So we are going to award it. So we are awarding for the second supply. So the one now. And the response is everything is coming. And put up. And then go there. So I will not select the supply. So select the supplier. And then if you want to select both, actually fine, you can even award both also. Uh, you can even choose both and then one part to one and then 60% uh, of our supplier and then say 40% of the second supplier also is very much possible now if I click on it. So we are now put, putting the check mark now if I click on it. And then the radio button has been enabled now if I click on it. And then save and close by which the award is now done. Now. So evaluation progress, commercial and save. Now I click on save and close. <laughs> So it changes the same. So award is in progress. Award is in progress. It is now unsealed actually. And then we will now complete the award. So go there. So it is now complete. You are now going to complete the award. So it is now coming. So the award is now the first supply. The second supply has been awarded actually. The second supply is awarded. And then go there. Uh, 800 and then whatever the savings. How much of saving? 100 was the or initial price. And so we are now saving 200 actually. So savings amount is also coming from there. So click on the complete award by which what happens you are now completing the award actually. So create the purchase order documents. Now click on the create the purchase order document and the notify supplies accordingly for the award decision. So the supplier also be notified. Click on okay. You are now going to create a purchase order by completing the award. So the PO gets created actually. So the PO will be created <coughs> upon completion of the award the negotiation. Now complete now click on it. And then I will now initiate the approval and then submit it actually. Click on it. So go there. So I'm now initiating the approval on the 10 quantities. Okay. So I'll initiate the approval. I click on submit by which order measure. The approval process will be initiated actually. What completed actually. So now what happens? The total award is now completed. So we can use the technical and commercial stages, two stages, but it's going to be a large negotiation. I've done it. Now. I'm purchased document was created actually. And then go there. Now pending approval of final. I will not what happens. Go to the order. I will not go to this place. <laughs> I will not click on the home icon, okay? click on the home icon. And then I go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase orders. No, I click on it. I will not go and view it. <clears throat> so the purchase order is now submitted and then it is now gone for approval actually. So if you click on it, and then here I will go to the manage orders, no, I click on the manage orders. So here the supplier is what? Uh, uh, T01 underscore sub underscore two, no? and the second supplier, what is my time? So there is one click on search. So one point search for it. You can now see the PO is now there. Now it is now available. In the pending approval. If you click on the hyperlink of it, you can now see the progress of it. You wait for it. So click on it and then you can now see this. If you click on the order, you can now see the total award which has been. So, so there is an attachment here now. If you click on the attachment, click on that. Uh, so from supply, from the attributes. So line level attributes are now given. He has now given the warranty actually. The technical specs will be there. Fine, click on it. Line level attributes will be coming as that. So I don't go there. Open the HTML file. Click on it. You can now see the warranty has been given as two years. So if there are multiple, uh, what happens, uh, values over there, now fine. All the technical specs will be visible over here. And everything will be visible. Fine. They are all added as attachment. So in fact, what happens, the supplier has to, what happens, uh, stick to the technical specifications which he has given during the RFQ stage actually. The purchase order is now having this attachment. So click on it. And then go there. So click on done now. Click on done. So pending approval. And then go there. So make a search. Now click on search. Now it's open. And that means what? It is not ready for receive. Now I will not go there. Click on it. I will not go to the home icon. And then I go to the what's called your inventory. Now I go to that. So I will not go to the what's called. Uh, I will not go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the inventory management. Now find the inventory management. So what you do is what it's not showing us all organization fine with that. So we are not having what happens the requisite uh, the role actually. So let us now give the roles so and then what happens you will be getting the 001 org as to come fine is not coming. So you will now add the OUSCM role now. Thank you, Monet. You will now add the OUSCM role. Then you will be able to receive it actually. So go to the tools. 
and then here what happens? We go to the security console. And come on, and add the OELC in the product. So go to the users. Now, if I click on the users, and then have a long query for the PRC from the now add the OEC role. Click on the hyperlink of it. Click on it. And then I'm going to edit it and then add it. So only when you add the inventory role, then what happens? It will be possible for us to do it. Now click on add role. So I will now say OEC role. OEC role. So we are adding it. Select them and click on add role. So click on that. So now we can very well do the result from this user itself. And then having done this, what happens? You run the what happens? You have scheduled the process of import user role. Now I click on it. Now go to the home icon. And then go there. And then you go to the tools and then run the schedule process. So import user role will now sync it now. I click on it. Go to the schedule process. And then we'll run the import user role. So it will now sync all the setups on the transaction system. Import percentage queen. User percentage queen. Uh, role percentage and then give it up. Import user role to the one, click on search. Now searching for it, select the click on okay. So, we have a submitting So, we have a submitting it. So, go there, click on it. So, it's not running now. So, uh, what you do is you'll not go on that. What happens? You go to the pay, purchase order. So, whatever the purchase document is, what I will not take a copy of it. I don't know. Put it on what? On a notepad. notepad. So this is the document now. When US 165059 is the purchasing document now. This is not open actually. Uh, so this is no running now. Find that. So now what I do is I will log out and log in. So that what happens? You will be able to receive on the 001 or So sign out and sign in. So we are now running the import user role actually. The what happened? The model process is not running. No friend. So once when this completed, what happens? You know, go there. I have no give a sign off. We'll now again sign in. Now, frankly, correct. No go there. Use it. We'll go to the place. We'll again sign in. No sign in. And that will now go to the supply chain execution. No point to point. We'll now go to the supply chain execution. <clears throat> we'll now go to the supply chain execution. We'll go to the inventory management. Now we'll be able to see zero zero one org in the left hand side. It's still not coming. You know, so we'll now go there. Click on it. <clears throat> So I will now go to what? Uh, drop it down and then you go to the results. Now. Click on the results. And then receive expected shipments. Find what account. And then yet the inventory organization is still not coming. So you must have what happens? The 001 coming up. Now, it's not still not coming. So it takes some time for you to what happens? Uh, since it actually click on sign on. So what I will do is I will now log in with the SCM user. Now, find that. Now, the SCM 10 dot student. Now. So let me log in with this user actually. There. So let me log in with the SEM user actually over there. Actually. Let me set the password. So go there. So click on it. And then here, what happens? Again, go there. And you have to wait for it to find the little sufficient execution. And then here, what happens? You go to the inventory management. It takes some time for the system to sense actually. Then click on it. Then go there. I will not drop down and go to the results. Go to the results. And then yeah, receive expected shipment of the one. So click on it. Again, what was it? now the inventory organization is coming as only all. It has to come as what? 001 has to come off. Right? Still not come. So what I do is I will now go to this place. Right? Let me go to that. What I will now go to the tools. I will now go to the tools. And then yet yeah, I will now go to what? The security console. So let me change the password of the SCM 10 dot user. I will now say SCM 10. So let me change the password. Let me change the password. Right? Insert the password. Manually, let me delete from. So we will be in a position to receive it. So click on the password. So let us now log in as a CM10. So click on that. 
it is not done. So I will again, before I log out and log in, I will now make one more check. Now if I click on it. So sometimes what I will be coming on, I will now go to the supply chain execution and how it will be. I will now go to the what? Supply chain execution. <clears throat> and then you go to the inventory management. Here it's supposed to be still not coming. This all is coming if I don't go there. I will now receive some, click on the receive expected shipments. It's not coming. Fine. Let's now log out and log in as a CM10. Now I click on it. Sign out and sign in. So click on confirm and then go there. You know, you see a 10 dot student over there. So we are on login as the point upon it. So here it will be possible for us to receive this. I will now go to what? Supply chain execution. Because the SCM user, you can very well do it. No point. Go to the supply chain execution. And then you go to the inventory management. Even though we add the role, it takes some time for the import user role to run off. And then you see the 001 is coming. Whereas that also will come only after some time. Right? Because it takes some time for the system to what? Sync all the setups into the transaction systems. No point. Drop it down. And then you go to the receipts. No point. No receipts. Then go there. So go to the receive expected shipments. And then we are going to receive it. No point. No point. So the purchase order number will not take a copy of it. No point. No point. No point. No point. So we will not take a copy of it. And then put in the purchase order number, place it, and then go to tab. So click on search. So one minute search for it. So click on the zip. They will receive all the end copies. Go there. Is the inventory direct? No point. Go there. So if you click on the show receipt, it will not show you how much is expected. Go there. I will not say in the store sub inventory where is it again. Go there. So click on submit. Now fine. Click on create zip. So the GR number gets created, and then what happens? It is now processed. Actually. So the zip is now made. Now fine. Go there. Five two six five one. Go there. Five two six five one. And then click on done. Fine. We'll now go back to our system. Fine. Click on it. We'll now go back. So we'll now go there. Click on it. You know, sign out and sign in as a PRC twenty one. <clears throat> click on confirm. And then we'll now sign in as what? PRC twenty one now. And then and go there and then sign in. Now we can now see that thing is now closed for receiving. Actually, the PO is now closed for receiving. You go to the procurement and then you go to the manage orders. So fine. Go to the purchase orders. And then query your PO and then you'll now see that it's closed for receiving. And then here, order one, go to the manage orders and then query your order. So the order number is what? The one number is paste it and then give it a tap and then click on search. Previously, it is open now. Now it will be coming as close for us. It's not close for us. It's not close for us. Now, what happens? You can even go and then make a payment now. I click on it. And now go to the payables now. I click on it. Go to the payables. You can make a payable. I will now go to the payables now. I click on it. The payables is here. I click on it. You know, go to the payables and then here, whatever they go to the invoice and then there's no create invoice actually. So click on it. You know, go on and get invoice. So go to the create invoice. We are now creating an invoice for this. No point on it. So we are going to obtain the distribution first of all based upon the results we may know. And then afterwards, we'll now validate the invoice and then we'll now make a payment actually. So go to the create invoice. <coughs> so click on create invoice and then put the PO and then query on it. So it will be having some taxes actually. So the total value is 800 actually. So along with that, what happens? It will be the taxes and other duties will also be added actually. So click on create invoice. And then we are going to create invoice. So the invoice gets created and then finally it will be paid. Actually. So this, this is for the first time we are now opening the invoice. It's not taking a longer time actually for the system to open the invoice page because nobody has opened it for a pretty long time actually. So it takes a long time. And then afterwards, we'll now query on the PO number and then perform a match. So it is a result match, actually. So once when you make a result match, the distributions will be getting, update, uh, getting obtained. And then uh, we have to, what happens, uh, uh, do the change on the header amount also. So the invoice creation is now going on. Mm -hmm. the invoice. So I will now put the identifying number, the PO number, I'm going to put it up. I know that it's not coming, I'll choose it. So the business unit, the supply, everything will be coming. So the amount on the PO is 800 actually. So go there. I will not say 1000. I will not say 7000. The invoice number, the amount is 800 plus taxes. But I don't know the taxes. I will not put it in the point. After obtaining the distribution, I will not match it and then obtain it. Click on the match. So I will not obtain the distribution by matching it now. Fine. Click on the matching invoice. 800 plus taxes actually. Fine. Since I don't know what I'm going to do, I will not go there. Click on it. I will not obtain the distribution. Right? You know what I mean? I will not select it. Right? Go there. The quantity is 10. Click on OK. So click on OK. So the distribution is not obtained by matching it. 
So the accrual gets relieved by those two. Right? That is not going to go for a liability creation of bank or that. And then go on a final product. And then you can now see what is the total amount of money in that. So what happens? We don't have any location-based taxes coming now. Click on it. Not giving a tick mark now. Click on it. And then give a save now. Click on it. Save. So now what happens? We are going to go to actions. Go to invoice actions and then what happens? We go to valid. Now click on valid. So if there is a what happens? You have a location-based taxes and what will that will be appearing now? Click on it. We'll not see whether it's all over now. And there is no tax at all. No taxes coming. Click on that. So not validated. Click on that. Not validated. Click on that. So I think the tax is coming. Not valid in effect on it. Ah, uh, go down effect on it. So now what happens? The total value along with the now the taxes has got calculated upon saving. So the taxes seventy six. So eight seventy six is the total value in effect on that. So I will now modify the header to eight seventy six in effect. Eight seventy six is the one effect on that. Now and then give a save in effect on. Now what happens? The tick mark will be coming now. Now what happens? Go to that. I will now validate again. So once it is validated, what happens? It will be validated. So the invoice validated fine with that. So go to invoice actions and what happens? You're going to make a payment in full. Right? So we will not pull. So the invoice validated will not make a payment in full. Right? You're not going to pay it actually. So the invoice must be approved before it can be paid. Okay. Right? You will now do the force approval on right? it. It needs approval actually. And somebody has said the approval on fine that is go to the invoice actions and then what happens? You will now approval and then we'll now say in this place, what happens? You go there, uh, initiate force approval. I'll not try to force approve it now. Right? Click on force approve. Somebody has set up the approval of and force approving it. I'm going to go to the action and then I'm going to make a payment. Force approval. You see if it works, then it will not go to the payment screen actually. But the bank account, drop it down. I will not choose the BOFA now. BOFA, I'm not choosing it. I'm going to go BOFA, I'm choosing it. And then the payment process profile, drop it down. <clears throat> we'll have what I was one standard profile is there. Okay? C A and D. Standard profile is there. Standard check format. And then the project the payment document, fine, drop it down. I will not say check and go that point. So at yeah, the 4054 is the one fine click on submit by which what happens it is now getting paid at. So what happens? The payment is also in full. The payment has been created now. And then afterwards, what you have to do is we will not post to you now. You will not post to ledger by which what happens all the activities will be posted general. So uh, you can very well calculate the profit and loss and then the balance sheet based upon this. Now, if you go and then see the life cycle of the purchase order, you can now see everything now. An invoice created as well as everything is known. I'll now right click and then duplicate now. I'll now go there. So we'll now have a look at the PO now. If you look at the PO, you can now see everything. You go to the home icon and then go to the purchase orders now, and then query the purchase order. And then there, the life cycle will be showing you very clearly. Right click on it and then go there. And then here, what happens? You go there. You go to the what's called the procurement now. Go to the procurement. Few more minutes now. I'll now complete it. Yes. Go to the procurement and then I go to what purchase orders. I will not go to the manage orders. Fine, click on it. I will not go to the manage orders. Fine, go to the manage orders. And then I will not query for the order. Fine, click on it. I will not PST. Fine, go to give a tap. And then click on search. And fine, we are searching for it. So we will search for it. I will not click on the hyperlink of it. Fine, click on search. Uh, include closed documents. I will not say yes. No, fine. It is not fully closed actually. Now, document is fully closed. Fine, I am going to query for it. You know, paid also, fine. Now, status is closed actually. Anyway, so, click on it now. Click on the hyperlink of it. It was initially closed for assuming now it is now paid and then fully closed. If you click on the view details, it is the embedded analytics now. Em embedded, embedded analytics is now showing you, fine. That. So, what are the result? Fine, is the result. And then what are the invoice is now showing you. If you click on the hyperlink on the invoice, it will not show the payment switch. So, the embedded analytics will not tell you the complete cycle, P2P life cycle of it. Not showing you. So, all these things put together, fine. These are all the taxes on this now, fine. On it. And then if you go to the payments also, it's not shown. So the total payment is not 876 has been paid to him actually. Invoice is not. And then it is not fully paid actually. <clears throat> not fully paid. Uh, the one uh, if you go to the payments, not click on the payments, it will not show the payments also. The payments. You cannot say the check payment has been made, not fine. So this is one not fine. <clears throat> and then uh, all these things are there. No, no paid prepayments payments as well. So the check payment has been given to him. So this completes a complete life cycle of a PO, right? including the invoice and payments now. Right? And then how we have made the two-stage RFQ. And then finally, what happens, awarded the what happens, the contract from one of the suppliers and then created a purchase order. And then we approved it. We received it. And then we created an invoice and then finally made a payment. So by for now, and then what happens, we'll now see tomorrow a full life cycle from a requisition up to what happens, the invoice pay, payment creation actually. Okay, sir. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Right.